guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is 11 DPO. Um, I said I probably wasn't gonna test until I missed my period, but um, my periods have been coming around like 11, 12 DPO and I haven't started yet, so I thought I'd take one more test before my actual period comes. Um, I already dipped it and it's sitting here waiting. Um, while we're waiting, I just kinda wanted to talk about something. Um, I've mentioned in quite a few of my other videos that I have a progesterone deficiency, meaning I have extremely low progesterone to the point where if I'm not taking progesterone pills or suppositories, I can't even implant to conceive. So I have to be on some sort of progesterone to even get pregnant. And then I have to even be on a higher dose to keep the pregnancy. Um, when I was pregnant with our last baby, um, my progesterone only got up to about a 17, at least that's as high as it got when I tested, and that was about two weeks after my missed period. Um, and I discovered something this cycle that I thought I'd give a try. Um, my doctor has me on 200 milligrams of progesterone orally. With my last pregnancy, my doctor, it was a different doctor, had me on 200 milligrams daily of suppositories. I thought I would add in a cream that I um, actually got recommended to me by one of my good friends in the infertility world and I started using it this cycle and this is what it's called or what it looks like there um, I'll leave a link to it in the description bar down below but um, 20 milligram one pump is 20 milligrams um, of progesterone and I do this twice a day. So I do five pumps in the morning to have another extra 100 milligrams. And then I do another five pumps at night to get an extra 200 milligrams. And guys, I got my seven day progesterone labs back at 70 PO. I got them back um, on Tuesday and my progesterone was almost at a 21. I freaked out and I was like, I'm gonna go home and test. You know, that really means that I'm pregnant. It wasn't even that high when I was pregnant. But then I got in my Facebook group and women were saying like, yeah, I've had progesterone levels that high and haven't been pregnant. It just means you have really good progesterone that cycle. I decided to wait to test because it was still only nine DPO at that time. And I knew if I tested, I would be really, really upset. Um, so I just wanted to kind of throw this in to this video that this stuff I feel like has really, really helped. Um, uh, there's 150 uh, pumps in here. So it'll probably last you about a two week wait um and it's about it's 20 bucks for one of these little containers but to me obviously it works for me and it's well worth it so i'm definitely going to buy it again i put it like on my mid area like right here like in my torso area um i put one pump there i put one pump on each thigh and i put one pump each on the back of my like where your knee bends like back there um but it says you can put it pretty much anywhere um, it can be applied to like your wrist, behind the knee, which is what I do, elbow, arm, leg, torso, or anywhere else desired. It says you can rotate application spots for best results. I didn't do that, and I still got really, really good results. So, all right, enough of the ramble. Let's get to... Okay, so let's get to the real reason why you're here, live pregnancy test. Okay, here we go. Negative. Ugh. I really thought with my high progesterone level that I was. And I said in my 8 DPO video that I had my hopes like super high for this cycle and they were super high. I don't know why. I didn't even really have that many symptoms. Um, like I had some cramping, which I've never really had. Um, I had that from like four DPO to about like eight-ish, nine-ish DPO. Um, today I'm super nauseous, um, but again, like all this could be contributed to progesterone. So I'll let you look at the test. It's negative. Well, I um. I also got a drop in my temperature today and I always get a drop either the day or the day before my period starts. So I'm assuming I'll start my period soon. Um, my doctor instructs me to take progesterone uh, 3 DPO to 12 DPO and then stop. 
Um, so unless I get a positive pregnancy test and then, um, she obviously keeps you on it, but she really doesn't want you to test until 16 at DPO and who the heck is going to wait that long? I know I'm not, but some of you out there might have the willpower. I do not. Um, so what she does is she has you take it cycle days three through 12, then you stop. And then with me, I usually start my period about a day or two after. So I'm assuming like Saturday or Sunday I'll start. So I'm pretty bummed. It's still early technically. I mean, 11 DPO, but I think that if I was going to get a positive, it would have happened already. So let's stay positive and move on to the next cycle. I don't know what she's going to have me do. Um, I call in for a cycle review on cycle day one of my period, and then she instructs me what I'm going to do for my next cycle. So I will keep you guys updated on what that is. If you have any questions about the progesterone cream or anything like that, leave them down below. I would be happy to answer them. I literally love this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.